The unsung warrior king who annihilated Bhakti Arkhilji, Maharaja Prithu, Pr Professor Raktim Patar is here with us because Kamaruk itself, the kingdom itself and the dynasty itself had a great lineage which was never discussed in mainstream historical discourse of India. Had Prithu failed, the, the history would have been different. Nobody has written on this, very few people know about him. Uh, what happened to him when he was um, going towards Tibet? They know that uh, Bakhtiar Khilji was an invader and he destroyed Nalanda University. Not only Nalanda University, entire Buddhist and Hindu establishment and uh, uh, both religious and uh, cultural and educational. educational. He desecrated everything. He was uh, annihilated his entire 12,000 cavalry. It was a terror for entire northern India was annihilated, it is completely decimated on the banks of Brahmaputra. Uh, Western parameters and non-Indian understanding of issues, uh, they keep on challenging this, that was it the same Prithu, uh, was it the same legacy uh, and is it just based on only oral tradition? He was the man who actually prevented the, uh, the Muslim invaders to conquer not only Kamrup, but also to Tibet, China and Southeast Asia. How should we celebrate today's uh, victory over Bhakti Akhil? Jitne bhi bache honge, 5-6,000 wo nadi tak pohunche. Phir wahan dekha ke bridge tuta hua hai. Jayenge kaise? Piche se inka sipahi, Maharas Pithu ke sipahi, Kamrup ke sipahi, maar maar ke aare. Uske bina to sambhavi nahi tha. Direct confrontation mein nahi ho. And later on, probably uh, this oral traditions were very current uh, during the later periods and uh, similarly uh, during the time of our great Lachit Barfukan uh, he, he was probably inspired 